special thanks to Patreon supporter Dark Archer for making this tutorial possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Security over here bringing you another Minecraft Modern Warfare Vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the M1279 GLTV Utility. This here is a utility, I guess you can say pickup truck version of the JLTV, which is the M1278. Um, so it's kind of based off the same vehicle, the same kind of cab, uh, chassis, all that stuff, except it's only a two-seater and has basically the whole four uh, other two seats removed in the back and uh, basically substitute that in for a kind of bed of a truck. Um, pretty interesting type design and uh, a cool kind of variant of the JLTV series of uh, armored personnel vehicles. Um, and that's really about it. Uh, this tank here, this uh, vehicle here is pretty much going in to replace the uh, Humvee and I imagine this is probably replacing the pickup type Humvee in that type of role. Um, there are some cool kind of concept vehicles that I don't know how true or how, um, you know, real they actually are that do mount some different kind of rocket systems and uh, different equipment and stuff like that to the back of this vehicle. So it's kind of interesting to see maybe later down the road that this kind of becomes the standard body for medical variants and uh, surface to air missile systems or even, you know, anti-vehicle um, weaponry and stuff like that. Um, very possible to see that as the kind of Humvee was adopted. Um, into that role especially the uh, pickup truck version so kind of a cool vehicle and definitely interesting to see what future variants this uh chassis base model um holds but this right here is just kind of the standard base model just with a pickup we don't have any cool missile launcher systems or anything on it but uh still will be a really cool build to kind of put around your base or something and um all that now before we go ahead and move into the tutorial i do want to go ahead and give a big thanks to patreon supporter dark archer for making this tutorial part possible if you guys are interested in uh supporting the channel more than you already do feel free to check my patreon page link is always in my video description where you can go and put a small amount to the channel every month and in doing so earn a vehicle request you're choosing it really helps support the work i do on my channel is really greatly appreciated so definitely feel free to check that out and a uh, link for that will always be in the video description of all my videos with that though let's go ahead and dive in here and take a look here at the um m1279 utility so um basically uh, we have the same kind of front here if you built the uh, previous jltv um model uh, pretty much the same kind of cab, same general structure for the most part, and um, your main difference here coming comes to the back where you have this kind of, um, you know, uh, bed, <laughs> like, a, like a standard pickup truck. Um, so that's basically used for uh, transporting cargo and uh, the likes and stuff like that, so kind of your pickup truck uh, version and uh, all that stuff. So kind of an interesting vehicle, pretty, you know, up-armored uh, MRAP, kind of the new ones that are supposed to uh, help phase out the Humvees entirely and this thing is uh, definitely a pretty uh pretty awesome looking beast of a uh, of a vehicle that's for sure but uh yeah that right there's pretty much uh it for the overview let's go ahead and jump right into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer layer number one all right guys begin with our first layer here and be going ahead and begin with layer one for layer one to go ahead and get started with you were to place down two polished black stone stairs um that will be basically Back to back, like so. We're going to go ahead and place down a stone brick top slab on this stair, iron trap door, and there's stone brick top slab, and again a polished black stone upside down stair, and a second stair behind it. After we have that done, we're going to go ahead and then uh, skip a space back from this um, uh, from this uh, stair here, and we're going to go ahead and place down a row of three of birchwood trap doors. Same thing will be done over here on this side as well. Then, uh, after those trap doors, we're going to go ahead and then skip a space of two back. And we're going to place down another set of two of polished black stone ups down stairs. So just like this to both sides. Then in between here we're going to place down a stone brick top slab, iron trap door, and another stone brick top slab like that. And that right there is pretty much it for layer one. Pretty simple straightforward layer. Here's what it looks like from the top down view. And with that we'll be going ahead and moving into our next layer, which will be layer number two. Moving into our next layer we have layer number two. For layer 2 to begin with, we're to place down an anvil on top of this uh, iron trap door, followed by a stone brick wall to both sides of the anvil. After that, uh, we want to go then place down two polished black stone stairs back to back on top of each one of these stairs. So that's just going to go ahead and basically complete our four wheels. After that's done, we want to go and then grab our sandstone slabs here. And also, we'll go ahead and grab some polished black stone slabs. And we'll also need some wither skeleton skulls. We're going to place down two pol polished black stone top slabs coming off that anvil in the center there toward the front and then a or a um, wither skeleton skull on both sides of those like so. 
At this point, we want to go ahead and place down a birchwood fence gate to both sides, and then a sandstone top slab. And we'll be using smooth sandstone throughout the entire build. So whenever I say sandstone, I am referring to smooth sandstone. Uh, we're going to go then also place down a skeleton skull, come off the side there of these blocks. Now for that, uh, to go ahead and kind of spruce this up a little bit, we want to go ahead and grab a dark oak wood sign. We're going to place it down, come off the middle slab like so. And then we want to go ahead and also grab ourselves some item frames and also some birchwood signs. And then lastly, some tripwire hooks. We're going to place down a item frame on these two fence gates. And we're going to go ahead and place down a tripwire hook in the item frame and rotate it so it faces downwards. And then on the slabs here, we're going to go ahead and place down birchwood slabs like so for the front. After that's done, going ahead and working our way toward the back, we're going to take our smooth sandstone. We're going to place down a row of three across the center, followed by a second row of three, a third row, four, five, and six. Going all the way across there, filling that space in. Then on both sides of this first row, we're going to place down a sandstone stair. We then want to grab levers. We're going to place them down on top of these trapdoors. So just like that on those two trapdoors and over here, like that. We then want to go ahead and grab a birchwood sign. We're going to place it down the side here of the stair, same or the side of the block, same thing there. And then also birchwood signs on the sides of those blocks like that going back. Now once we have that done and we get to our back section, uh, we want to go ahead and take our smooth sandstone. We're going to place down a smooth sandstone block here in the center and a sandstone up sandstone stair going back from that. Uh, we then want to go ahead and grab our birchwood fence gates and we're going to place down a fence gate going back from those walls. And we are going to go and then place down a birchwood top slab to both sides of those fence gates. We're going to go and then place down additional top slab out to the sides there. After we have that done, we're going to go and then take our black banner. We're going to place it down, come off those slabs, and then we want to go and then place down a item frame that will be coming off these two slabs here. And in those item frames, we're going to go and place down tripwire hooks, and we're going to have this rotating so it faces downwards like so. And lastly, in the center here, coming off that stair, we're going to place down a birchwood fence gate and have that opened up for toward the stair like so. At this point in time, we do have the banners that go in the wheels here, and I'm not gonna go ahead and show you guys how to make the banners in a loom, because they're pretty simple. Basically what you're doing here is you're gonna take some black banners, two. You're gonna take a dark gray, or just, I guess normal gray is what they call it. Uh, and you're gonna go do a line on the right side and a line on the left side. And um, after that, you just wanna go ahead and then take black, do a horizontal line across the tops, and a horizontal line across the bottoms for each banner. You'll have your banners complete, and very simply to place them, you're just going to place the two banners on the two polished black stone stairs like so, with the gray portion facing toward each other. And this here will just go ahead and make your wheels, and just kind of gives them a little bit more detail, and makes them look a little bit more wheel-like, at least in my opinion. Anyways though, that is going to wrap up what we have there for layer number two, and with that, let's move on to layer number three. Alright guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number three. For layer three to begin with, we're going to place down a sandstone stair like this to both sides, and in between those stairs, we're going to place down a row three of iron bars. After that, behind the iron bars, we're going to place down a row 3 of black concrete, followed by a smooth sandstone up sound stair to both sides. We then want to place down a, another row 3 of black concrete across, and we're going to go ahead and follow this up with another smooth sandstone up sound stair, going across like so. After that's all done, we're going to go ahead and then place down a row 3 of smooth sandstone blocks across the middle, and then a sandstone wall to both sides. We're going to go ahead and then take our black concrete, we're going to place down a row of 2 across, Sorry, row three across, and then a second row three across that. We then want to place down strip birchwood, so two strip birchwood blocks to both sides. And on both these blocks, we're going to go ahead and place down birchwood buttons. After that, we're going to go ahead and then take our smooth sandstone, do a row three across, and then a sandstone wall to both ends. Then at this point here, uh, we want to go ahead and take our stripped birchwood, we're going to place down one and two blocks back, one and two. And then we're going to go ahead and then place down a sandstone up sound stair. And then a second up down stair. And then we're going to go and then take our strip birch wood and we're just going to place down one, two, three, four, five across. And same thing over here for our up down stairs. Now, for the detail around this, we're going to go ahead and place down birch wood trap doors on the sides here of these blocks, like that. And we're also going to go and place down, um, actually, that's it for our trap doors. Then at this point, we want to go and place down a trip or hook on the back here. And then we're going to place down a birch wood sign to both sides. We're going to go ahead and place down an item frame around these two sides for the blocks. On the sides here, we're going to place down a orange concrete block. And then the sides facing toward the back, we're going to place down an apple. If you're on Java, for the sides on, for the uh, orange, or the item frames with the orange concrete on the sides here on the corner, 
we can go ahead and put birchwood signs over the side of the item frames. This here is going to be a Java only feature. If you're on a version other than Java, you'll not be able to place the um, item frames and signs in the same block space. So if that's the case, just go ahead and place it on the item frames and disregard the um, block there. And actually, this uh, should actually be red concrete. So we're going to go ahead and actually swap that out for red concrete instead. So that would be like that in the corners there, like that on both sides. And then for the inside here, uh, we just want to go ahead and grab ourselves some birchwood trapdoors. And we can just go ahead and create a floor here on the inside with birchwood trapdoors. So I'll just kind of close that off completely. Now, after that's all done, we then want to go ahead and go back up here to the front. We're going to place down an item frame on the side of the stair and an orange concrete block in the item frame. And we're going to do that if you're on Java. If you are not on Java, we're just going to place down a brick fence post on top of this skeleton school. If you're on Java, you can do both. If you're on uh, a different version, you will not be able to place these both. So you have to decide uh, which to choose. Probably you're going to want to choose the um, fence post here because this will be part of these little antenna in the front here. So probably the best thing to choose, um, but unfortunately just kind of what happens with the two different versions. And then also we're going to go ahead and grab our item frame here again. We're going to place down item frames on these two stairs here. And we want to go and then place down our headlights by placing black beds. And we're going to have them angled kind of like this with the white facing toward the middle there. And that right there will make our front headlights. With that all out of the way, that right there is going to include everything we have for layer number three. And with that, let's move on to layer number four. So before we go ahead and deep dive into layer number four, one quick thing we're going to go ahead and actually fix from the layer number three or something I actually forgot to do. And that's going to be over here on the left side and the left side only. We're going to go and replace this upside down stair here with a stripped birchwood log on its side. Followed by an item frame and then a smooth sandstone block in the item frame. So uh, that right there is just going to be over here on the left side of the vehicle and just go ahead and throw that on as a nice addition. Anyways, now we go ahead and head moving into layer four. We're gonna start off by taking our birchwood trap doors. We're gonna place down a row of three across. And we then wanna place down a smooth sandstone slab here in the center, a birchwood slab to both sides, and then a birchwood trap door coming off the sides there. We then wanna go ahead and grab ourselves pistons. We're gonna place down a row of three of pistons for us Java players. If you're not on Java, you can also go ahead and use end stone portal frames as well. After that, we're gonna go ahead and place down a smooth sandstone slab to both or to the right side, and over here on the left side, we're going to go ahead and place down an anvil. So it'll be on top of that block right there. Then uh, we were going to go ahead and grab our end rods. We're going to go ahead and go up one and two end rods on the right side here, and then an air brick fence post on top of this. Over here on the other side, we're just going to go ahead and grab iron bars. We're going to place down one, two, and three iron bars up for the left side there. Then moving to this point here, we're going to go ahead and then place down a sandstone wall to both sides here, and then an additional. Um, or actually rather, sorry, a black stained glass block to both sides here. Then in the middle between those black stained glass blocks, we're going to go ahead and also place down a birchwood fence gate, like so. After that's done, we want to go ahead and then take our black stained glass panes, or sorry, full blocks, we're going to place down there, row of three across, and then another row of three across after that. To the sides, we're going to place down a birchwood slab. Coming off the sides of the birchwood slab, we're going to place down a birchwood sign. And we then want to place down a strip birchwood block to both sides. Coming off this block, we're going to go ahead and also place down a tripwire hook. Now we're going to go ahead and grab a fence gate. We're going to place down a fence gate here. Come off this sandstone wall to both sides. And then a polished blackstone wall coming off that. Once we have that all done, we want to go ahead and then place down a sandstone wall to both sides here. And then a row three of smooth sandstone going across the back here like so. And we're also going to go ahead and take our birch with buttons and just place down a row three of buttons across. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves some birchwood pressure plates, and we're just going to go ahead and line the perimeter here of the um, bed of the truck with pressure plates all the way around. And that right there will pretty much uh, wrap up what we have there uh, for this. And at this point in time, uh, if you're on Java, we'll go ahead and type in the command slash give at p minecraft colon debug underscore stick. This will give us this command here. Pressing enter will give us a stick and we can go and then go to these pistons and right click them and actually get rid of that top portion there. Um, so it kind of helps with the sloping there for the front of the trunk. And again, end stone or the end portal frames will do pretty good um, for a substitute for that. Anyways, though, that's going to do it for this layer here. With that, let's go ahead and move on to our next layer, uh, layer number five. All right, guys, so moving into our next layer, we have layer number five. For layer five to begin with, we're going to place down a yellow stained glass pane on top of this fence post here, and then a black stained glass pane on both sides. At this point in time, we're going to go ahead and place down a placeholder block on top of these walls if you're on Java Edition. This next part here is going to be really strictly only for Java players, and what this is going to involve is placing down a lever on the side of those blocks. 
We're going to go and then place, take our debug stick. We're going to left click the lever until we get selected uh, face. And it should say wall. By right clicking it, it should set it to floor. And then we can go ahead and then left click the lever again. This whole time we are crouching. And we're going to go ahead and then go selected facing. We're going to go ahead and rotate this until the lever points out to the outsides. Like so. And then we can just go ahead and delete these placeholder blocks right here to both sides. And what that does is it creates kind of some more supports there for the side mirrors. Not a completely necessary detail, but a nice one to add for us Java players. At this point in time, we're going to then place down a wither skeleton squad a slight ankle on top of those polished black stone walls uh, for the mirrors, and that will conclude those. At this point in time, we're going to then place down a row three of black stained glass uh, full box going across, and we're going to go ahead and place down a sandstone upside down stair to both sides of those. We also want to go ahead and grab ourselves a skeleton skull, and we're going to place it down coming off the uh, blocks here, like so. And we're going to go then grab our debug stick, and we're actually going to go ahead and extend the glass panes here for us Java players out to the sides here, just to kind of help keep the shape a little more consistent there for the front of the vehicle. So as you can see, it looks a little bit nicer there. And uh, you could even take yellow stained glass panes if you really wanted to, and extend it all the way to the sides here as well. Um, that is definitely something you could do also to kind of help uh, bring that across there. So that actually might be a way to go um, instead of the way we have it there. But uh, again, kind of up to you guys and what you guys think looks best. Anyways, after that though, we're going to go then take our black stained glass blocks. We're going to place down a row of three across. And then we're going to place down a sandstone up sound stair to both sides. After we have that done, on the back here, we're going to place down a black stained glass block in the center. Smooth sandstone block to both sides. Virtual buns on the sides of those blocks, and then sandstone, or actually, sorry, yellow stained glass panes here in the corners. And with that all done, that right there is going to wrap up what we have there for layer five. And with that, we're going to be going ahead and moving into our final layers here, which will be layers six, seven, eight, and nine. So with that, let's move on to our last final layers. All right, guys, so moving into our next set of layers, we're actually going to go ahead and move into layers six through ten. For these layers, we're going to start off by placing out a birchwood trapdoor here, and then a birchwood slab to the right side. And then another birchwood trapdoor over here to the left side of the vehicle. We're going to go then go back from this with a birchwood trapdoor on both sides. A narrow brick fence post in the center. And this is going to go up a total of four iron bars. One, two, three, four. We then want to go ahead and place down another row of birchwood trapdoors across the back here. So another row of three. Then an end rod on top of those two glass panes. And then one, two, three uh, iron bars going up. And one, two, three going up as well. We then want to take our virtual buttons. We're going to place down two virtual buttons on top of those sandstone up sound stairs, like so. With that all complete there, that's going to basically wrap up uh, what we have for layers 6 and 10. And with that, that will complete our tutorial here for the M1279 GLTV utility. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this vehicle and are able to put it to good use. If you do want to be using this design, do I ask you guys to give me proper credit for it? This being linked from a sign of the build link to my channel or this video if this does appreciate social media sites. As long as you guys give me proper credit for your free use of your projects you guys are working on. Again, the first link to Patreon supporter Dark Archer. Uh, for making this tutorial possible and as always feel free to check my patreon page link is always in my video descriptions with that though thank you guys again so much for watching as always don't forget to like comment and subscribe this is your 204 and i'll see you guys next time